Hey everyone, it's me, Super Mario Bros. 7, and I'm here to review a really bad video game, SpongeBob SquarePants Atlantis SquarePants, from the dumb, horrible episode of SpongeBob. It freaking sucked, that's all you need to know about it. Yep, I feel proud for that. Now, what I'm really here for is to tell you about, yes, I'm sorry, this is not the fun that's a phrase video you were expecting. I'm here to tell you the top 10 worst games that I've ever played before. Now, before I get on here, I'm not breaking any promises. I mean, I just said I, I just said the next video could be Fun Nights at Phrase related, but I didn't mean say it actually was. Now, this may be a two-part video, so yeah, it may be two parts because I only got five minutes on this thing. Let's get started. Number five. Hmm, what game should I thrash about? I mean, say the top five worst, or I mean top ten worst list. So let's start with a game that should probably be close to number one. Crash Bandicoot Tag Team Racing. Yes, this is a GameCube game. And this is a horrible one at that. There's a big change. For one, you're spending a lot of time on foot in the game instead of actually doing racing. Two, you need to actually unlock the racing. And three, you have to run around everywhere just for the dumb story mode, dumb characters, overpowered weapons, and you can just say, shut the crap up to anyone who comes by you. So, it's really horrible. Very horrible. So horrible I get my brick up. Number nine. Paper Mario Sticker Star for the 3DS. Now, I wouldn't say all Paper Mario games are bad. The original is timeless. Thousand Your Door is my favorite. Super Paper Mario is, eh, it's okay. The 3D mechanic doesn't stand out too much. But Sticker Star is the one in the series that you just wanna... <laughs> two. Yeah, it's not that good. The sticker mechanic was awful. Paperization was dumb. Finding Luigi was not worth it. Kirsten should, it's like Navi except less tattlier. Is that even a word? Can we make it a word? Someone? Anyone? Anyone? So you can guess how bad it is. Oh, and they try to add a new mechanic of super stickers. Wow! It's, it's no wonder Game Explained stop, stop giving hints for it at World 2-2. Two, two. Number three! Oh, shoot the phone. I mean, number eight. I'm sorry. Ben 10 Alien Force. This was somehow a good game for me when I was eight years old, but looking back at it now, I can make a full analysis that it's... Yeah, it's not that good. I mean, well, it's Ben 10. What do you expect? You just run around collecting wristwatch power-ups and collecting random cards and doing boring stuff. And... <coughs> God dang it, Halloween. Anyway, you just do boring stuff, fight boring enemies, hitboxes is awful, platforming is a joke, and my god, the bosses are too hard for me. It sucks! It sucks! Number six! Or is it seven? I don't know. Anyway, Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds. Boo! Shut up, everyone! Shut up! I hate the game, and I'll tell you why. Before you hit that big dislike button, right there, or there, wherever it is, I mean, let me tell you, the game is too hard, shot at an overhead view, a dumb overhead view, the new mechanic of buying items is pointless, dumb, and tedious, renting items isn't helpful either, cause it just, whoop, if you die, I take your item away, bye, and you have to pay for it all over again, I'm one of those guys who likes to buy the items and not rent them. Seems just easier. Also, the Ice Palace is stupid, finding the tunics is dumb, and... My god, the collectible baby octopus things! So hard! Luigi... So hard! Probably number six. SpongeBob SquarePants, Alien SquarePants. You would expect this to be at number one, but... Let me tell you, the game's awful, crap, 
graphics are horrible, but it has a few redeeming quality shooting things, it's kind of fun, and basically, well, it's not that tedious if you know how to play it, but all in all, I still beat it up like it's my one puppet, ow, ow, it's retaliating, stop the countdown, stop the